안녕하세요. Good day to all the J's and JYJ fans who are right now joining us into welcoming our very first interviewee for J909.5. We are here with a multi-talented woman who has ventured out into various fields in the U.S. entertainment industry for years. Uh, she's one of the most popular dancers in the U.S. and is infamous for her appearance as Justin Timberlake's leading lady in his video Rock Your Body and Enrique Iglesias for Bailamos. Not only did she work with Timberlake and Iglesias, but her resume has a wide array of famous U.S. entertainers like Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, Pink, Will Smith, Antic, and no doubt, to name a few. And a former Pussycat Dolls member, her love and passion for dancing has led her to appear in movies such as Charlie's Angels' Full Throttle movie alongside PCD. She's also a singer who, who just digitally released her latest single, Higher Frequency, through iTunes, and is currently working on her upcoming debut album called Flood. A dancer, choreographer, model, actress, and a singer as well. Now you believe me when I say she has a very impressive resume. So... What does she have to do with us fans? <laughs> it's simple. She had the opportunity to work as Jerry Slaughter's associate in JYJ's Showcase World Tour in 2010. So please join me in welcoming the beautiful and multi-talented artist, Miss Stacy Flood. Hi. So how are you, Miss Stacy? I'm great. How are you? Oh, we're fine, and it's already evening here. So. <laughs> oh, is it? And now, where are you? you're in San Francisco? So yes, I'm from Illinois. I'm from Illinois, and Lynn is from um, Stockton. Yeah, I'm Stockton, oh, California. Awesome. So okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're here. Oh, yeah, we're. Like, I'm in LA, so we've got the country covered. Uh huh. That's right. Fans can span all over the world. <laughs> you are not lying. It is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's right. And we're also joined by the lovely events coordinator of Chaser Jade, Linda Oray, or whatever name you know her. So she'll be my co-host for our interview with Miss Stacy here, since I am very nervous right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, again, good afternoon, Miss Stacy. Are you prepared for our series of questions? I am ready. Okay. So, first question, since we've known you as a dancer, so how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing uh, my entire life. Since I was three, I began gymnastics and then dance and theater and singing and anything else you can think of that would be not <laughs> <laughs> And um, what made you pursue your career as a dancer? Um, I, it's just something that's so in me that I love to do. It's, it's such an outlet that, I mean, you can express anything you want without saying a word. And it's such a great release, um, mm -hmm. not just physically, but also like emotionally and mentally. It's such a, a great way to express yourself. Um, but I always knew from a very young age that I was a performer and that's what I was no place of okay uh, and did you have any formal training when you were younger yeah I trained um, pretty much till the time I was about 17 16 um, five six days a week yeah whether it was dance class or vocal or you know, in some sort of play <laughs> <laughs> or, or, and playing, or yeah so uh, training was pretty pretty uh, in depth and intense um, I am really very fortunate to have an amazing mentor and teacher and friend. Um, her name was Alice Kay. And, you know, I spent more time pretty much like there every single day. It was a uh, growth experience that influenced in my life so much more than just artistic. I mean, she was like family. Kind of help raise <laughs> <laughs> And okay, so so do you have a signature move? A signature move. I have called the uh, pancake, and it's just you know a lot. Choreography to be fun. Do whatever you feel. Show your so 
it's, it's kind of a running joke with all the dancers that we all have our particular trick that we pull out of the bag at those, those occasions. But that's mine. My, my, it's a throws pop, and uh, it's basically a front handspring, but instead of mm-hmm. landing on your feet, you land folded over on the floor. It looks really impressive, but it's not as hard as that. <laughs> <laughs> well, for you, it's, it won't be. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounds painful, especially for us that can't do flips. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't. Please do not try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, how old are you when you started dancing? Um, I was three when I first began. My mom put me in gymnastics first, and uh, I gotta say, I was actually, I was a chubby kid. I was a little fat. So, you know, it was kind of good to have <laughs> a little exercise, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it just never stopped. On the aisle, you always be afraid I was going to knock something off and down the Along with your mother being the one that put you in gymnastics, was there anybody else in your family that had any performing arts background? that kind of lean you towards that direction or was it something that you took notice of it and kind of went running with it but still had the support of your family? So a lot of firing artists and dancers nowadays are kind of struggling with was it something that their parents forced them into? Was it something that they want to do and it's actually a passion? Or is it something that for them is a step into a, a lifestyle that they want to get into? Right. Um, I mean, being at three years old, granted the decision was first. <laughs> I don't know if at three I was really aware, um, but it was definitely something that uh, connected inside me. Um, yeah, definitely. Nobody else in my family is really involved in the performing arts. Uh, my parents sing all the time to the radio, and they have, both have like amazing voices, but they never did anything with it. Never pursued, you know, that that aspect. Very fortunate that they recognized something and decided to allow me to pursue it and so on. Well, we've already seen that you've worked with some of the most influential American musicians of the 90s. Did they have an impact on you? You know, with even with the recent works that you got, did they have like an impact on you as an artist? Uh, definitely working with. With the, the artists that I have, um, been such an awakening, such an eye experience, such a great learning experience to be able to watch, absorb everything that they've gone through or that I've witnessed. Um, it's just been really a blessing to be able to first experience those dreams, uh, whether it's learning what to do and what not to do. Uh, mm-hmm. Or just being able to handle it when the time came for myself, um, if I was presented with those problems, it wouldn't be so foreign if I'd already experienced it with somebody else. So that's been, I think, the best, the best way to learn. Dive right in. Trial and error, you learn to go. But I've been blessed to work with some amazing, and not just talented, I don't in just that way, but like, good-hearted, awesome people, you know, that are so warm, and, and, and regardless of how huge they are and how famous or how rich or whatever, they're still down-to-earth, loving, kind people, and that's the, I mean, that's the gift of life, like, you want to enjoy what you do, and, um, which is a blessing in itself, I get to go to, get to, go to work every day and absolutely love it, not, you know, a lot of people do that. So that in itself is a blessing, but then to also experience these people that love it just as much, it's another world. That's right. We already know that you are an accomplished dancer and choreographer, and you've already stepped into another whole industry, which is as a singer. Was this another career you wanted to take to step into, or did it come naturally along as being a dancer? Um, it was actually something that I've always done, uh, being a singer, like, we were kind of caught, uh, my teacher, it, it, she wanted us to do everything we possibly could, um, all of it, and venture into all of it. And then if you realize you don't like it, okay, hey, cool, 
but you tried. You know, you put out there. So she really uh, encouraged us to follow everything. So we were always mm-hmm. singing and dancing. And it was all together. It was more of a performing arts type of organization. So everybody got to utilize their gift. Um, so I was always singing, and it just so happened that when I moved to L.A., dancing came easier. The work just passed so much. So I have been in and out of singing groups since I got down here and the entire time. And, it, you know, one thing didn't work out, and then we tried something else. And so I decided, okay, I'm solo, but drama with the group thing and whatever. So I was with the dolls for eight years, and I was the leader of our show. Um amazing experience and then now I'm on my own it's, you know trying to uh, put out good music that people are going to feel I want you know, to touch somebody say something to treat somebody else good so we we already know that your latest single is high is named higher frequency and you co-wrote the uh, the lyrics um will you be you know pursuing a career as a producer in the music industry or you know a composer a lyricist everything else um i actually yes i write lyrics and every song that i've ever done or recorded has been something i wrote or at least co-wrote um was intricate and you know melodically putting it together you get to take everything that's in your heart and put it out mm-hmm. Know, put it out for everyone else to hear but also it's going to someone's going to relate to it it's going to capture um, attention to somebody someone else is going to feel what you're saying because we all have similar experiences so I want to kind of help that way and you know I got a lot to say <laughs> so uh, we're going to take our first break and Miss Stacy Flood can you please introduce your latest single yes this song is called Higher Frequency and It is near and dear to my heart. Um, I wrote it when I was going through a rough patch emotionally. And so the basic message of this song is that when somebody tries to break you down, you can't rise above anything and ride a higher frequency. And here's Miss Stacy Flood's latest single, Higher Frequency. <laughs>
is Higher Frequency by Stacey Flood.